Hello, how to solve t to the power of t and this equals 49. We are solving for the value of t that will satisfy this equation. Now, if you set maybe let t equals 2, what this simply means is that you have 2 power 2 and this equals 4, which is not 49. If you consider 3, you have 3 power 3 and this equals 27 and it's still not 49. So if you consider 4, you have 4 power 4. And this is 256, which is obviously greater than 49. So from here, you agree with me that 3, which is 3 power 3, that is 27, is less than this number. And this is giving us for 256, which is greater than 49. So the range of values of t is, that means 3, is less than the t, and the t is less than 4. So this is the range of the value of t that will satisfy this equation is between 3 and 4. So if you also want to consider the graph of this particular equation, remember this is an exponential function, while this is a constant function. So let's check the graph. You are going to have the exponential function this way. Now since this is an exponential function, it's definitely going to go up. While this is the constant function so you are going to have a constant value which is 49 so from here you agree with me that this can only intercept at one particular point that means this equation will have one single solution will have only a single solution so we need to solve for that particular solution right now and we are going to make use of natural log because we cannot just be testing for all values of t because right now you need to consider 3.1 just like that till you get to this 4.0. So we cannot be doing that now. Now let's go ahead and solve this. Now we are going to solve it using the lambda derivative function. So we have t power t and this equals 49. And right now we are going to introduce natural log. We have ln of t to the power of t. And this equals ln of 49. So if you consider the logarithm property, which is still applied to natural log, if you have log of a to the power of b, this equals b times log of a. So if you consider this property and apply it right here, so what you are definitely going to get is the t will come behind the natural log. We have t times ln of t. And this equals ln of 49. So at this particular point, what we are going to do is to apply the lambda derivative function. And here is it. The lambda derivative function is applied when you have an expression such as a times e power of a. So if you apply the lambda derivative function right now, what you are going to have is a. And also, for instance, example, if you have 3 times e power of 3. Then you apply the lambda derivative function. What you are going to get is 3. So what we are going to do is to ensure that we manipulate this particular equation or this part of the equation, which is the expression to this particular form. We need to change it and manipulate it and convert it to this form so that we can apply the lambda derivative function. Here we are having t ln of t. We need to convert it to a times e power of a. But this time it's going to be in respect of t. So let's do that right away. Now, for us to convert, remember if you have e power of ln of x, this is the same thing as x. So if you have e power ln of t, this is the same thing as writing t. So we can insert e power ln of t, instead of having t here, we have e power ln of t times ln of t equals ln of 49. So at this point, if you check what we have here, it is the a before the e power of a. So we need to change this. That means we need to rearrange this. The ln of t need to come first. We have ln of t times e power ln of t. And this equals ln of 49. So at this point, what we have here is exactly what we have here. Just like the example that we had before. We have 3 here, which is exactly what we have here. 
So at this point, we can then apply the lambda derivative function. So let's go ahead and apply the lambda derivative function of ln of t times e power ln of t. And this equals, since we have applied it here, we can as well apply it here, which is ln of 49. So at this particular point, by applying the lambda derivative function here, the output will be ln of t. So we are going to have ln of t, and this equals the lambda derivative function of ln of 49. So we are solving for t, so we need to eliminate this ln, and we can do that by introducing e. We have e power ln of t, and this equals e power the lambda derivative function of ln of 49. So what will happen next is the e can eliminate the ln, and what we are going to have left right now is t, which is e power the lambda derivative function of ln of 49. So this becomes the equation that can actually give us the actual value of t. So what you are going to do is to insert this particular equation. You insert this expression into your calculator. You have t equals e. You are not likely going to see the lambda derivative function in your calculator. Rather, what you are going to see is the product lock. You have product lock. This is what you are going to see in your calculator. You type in this into your calculator, e raised to the power of product lock of ln of 49. Immediately, you type in this into your calculator, you are going to have a value of t, or a value for t, and this value is approximately, you have 3.27. 804. This is into five decimal places. You can as well convert it to four decimal places. That means t is approximately 3.2780. So you can as well leave it this way. So this becomes the value of t that will satisfy that equation. So if you recall the equation that we had, t power t equals you have 49. So likely, if you insert this particular value for t, 3.2780, that is in four decimal places, we raise it to the power of 3.2780, you are likely to have an approximate value of 49. So ladies and gentlemen, that is how to solve this interesting exponential problem. And that is the end of the video. I believe you have seen all the steps. You have been introduced to lambda derivative function, though I've made use of it severally. Then that is it. You have seen the graph of the equation. So you have seen it. So you can only have one solution. And that is it. So that is it. Thank you and goodbye.